Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. So recently, I have shared on the ground power of Wing Chun uh, with the sticking body short strike. And uh, with that videos, I received many uh, messages asking me to share more on solder because uh, within the video, I say that shoulder is one of the key of the short strike arm so today i'd like to share with you what is going on okay and uh, so you'll be able to 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 know what exactly the ancients is talking about when they mention short strike art of uh, chinese martial arts as i show in the previous uh, uh, drawing from the ancient scripture uh, from Shaolin which is uh, in my book the uh, uh, Wing Chun Matrix okay so I didn't make anything up I just to uh, like to share with you what is going on between General Chi Ji Guang to the, uh, the Shaolin short strike okay and uh, whatever the short strike means now there are uh, Wing Chun friend asked me to he said well Henry don't you retire already from Wing Chun on uh, early this year? So why do you still talk about Wing Chun? Well, this is a good question and I'm going to answer to everybody here. So it is like in this Silicon Valley, I retire from engineering or corporate business. But I'm still doing researching in the school on technology. So that's what exactly it is. I don't uh, deal with this uh, uh, Wing Chun martial art, uh, those, uh, th those things, but I'm doing research in the, uh, in the ancient Chinese martial arts. Okay? So this is uh, about ancient traditional Chinese martial arts. It's not about, oh, I'm this lineage from this Wing Chun or that Wing Chun. I, I don't have that anymore. It's like I'm, I'm not joining any corporate in the Silicon Valley anymore. I'm in the school, I'm doing research, and I'm reporting what it is there. And I answer questions on uh, the questions of the traditional Chinese martial arts. Okay, so I'll get that straight. <clears throat> so, education is the agenda and the bottom line. Because people need to know this. Okay, now let's get started with this short strike stuff. Okay, now before anything, as in the last time, last video I, I, I share, we need to know the six core element because without knowing that, it is really unlikely one can be clear on what one is talking about. Okay, and uh, it is really, really uh, serious and important and critical to know that any internal development martial has to be able to get in and handle the natural resonance states. Uh, as last time I mentioned, there is intentionally regulating state and the natural uh, resonance state, which is you make use or reuse the energy and momentum and so forth. Okay, so internal development. What did they develop? They develop that. So in the uh, intentional regulating, usually in Chinese call it chao, like exercise, like drill. But uh, when they get into this uh, natural resonance state, that's called gong. Because now it is uh, get into the, 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 the natural rhythm, how to handle the things without, uh, without wasteful the energy or so, uh, the momentum. Okay? So that needs to be known. Now, for the six core element, the first four core element is about body conditioning and supporting the last two core element, which is the momentum and the force and in any martial arts one need 
to be able to handle, to train and handle the momentum dynamically. Because fighting, it just simply means exchange of momentum. Okay? And force or jing or fa jing is just simply something which is supporting this momentum. Okay? Force doesn't mean a thing without momentum. That's why, as in Olympics, in uh, Western boxing, people don't have to talk about fa jing. It's in BJJ, people don't talk about fa jing also. But it is a handling of momentum. They have their specific specialty in handling of certain type of momentum. That is the bottom line. Okay. So let's get into the short strike art. So short strike art is one major art or category of the traditional Chinese martial arts, which is specialized on very close zone to the opponent that is the short strike art okay and the short strike art have is a uh, uniqueness in the momentum okay the momentum handling the short strike art of the <coughs> uh, the momentum of the short strike art is it has to be able to dash in get close that's number one, very important. The second is it has to be doing leaning, okay, leaning to the opponent. And it has to do pressing the opponent. And then it has to do twisting or talk, talking the opponent. That three momentum type is the uniqueness of the short strike. So the short strike guy will shoot in. At this point, he will do leaning, uh, pressing, and twisting to strike or to throw or to trip or to fall the opponent. Okay? So that is the characteristic of short strike. Okay? Now, in order to handle, to be able to, to, to handle these characteristics, there are four momentum handles which need to be developed. The first is your feet, the second is your calf, the third is from the thigh to the lower back, the fourth is the shoulder blade and shoulder area. So the width, so the area, four. So this is the four of them, which is when you want to handle the momentum to dash in, to do the leaning, to do the uh, pressure, or to do the, 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 the twisting, you need this four, okay? Now, with this four, the Short strike art always using shoulder as the lead. Shoulder which is uh, a court to the knee pos uh, to the knee positions as a lead. So for example, it does in the shoulder go in which is proportion to the knee. Okay? That is the thing. So in the short strike art in ancient China, it said narrow stance and short bridge. This is narrow stance and short bridge. Okay? The, 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 the elbow always have to get in. Because only the shoulder get in, that one be able to lean in to, 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 to press, to, uh, to twist, to disrupt the center line or center axis of gravity of the opponent, you give no chance. That is called sticking. Okay, you stick at it. Now, punching, punches, like for example, that is long fist. Why is it long fist? Because the shoulder stay behind of the fist, while the short strike is going this way. 
This is shooting in already. This is shooting in. This elbow is there, and you see that it lit by the shoulder. So it pressed in with the entire momentum shift in. It is not like some uh, some other art. Those are long fists. That's why this is called long bridge. This is short bridge. When you get in here, short, short, short bridge, right away, you press in, another come in. It is not, it is dash in, flat in, and throw. Okay? It always happens that way. <coughs> so, the specialty is here. Okay? So that's why in the short strike art, you just take a look whether be able, the guy be able to uh, stick to the other guy's body or influence the other guy's center axis of gravity is the shoulder. If the shoulder doesn't go in, it's like this. You cannot get, you cannot eat his space. In uh, the, the, the Cantonese term, we say sick why? Eating his space. You, you cannot sick why this way. Sick why is this? You eat him alive. You take away his uh, center axis of gravity. Uh, vertical axis of center gravity. Okay? You just go in. You just, every step you're just taking him away by the three uh, simple things. Lean, press, twist. That means you throw him. Strike, throw, strike, throw. You can go strike, multi strike, and turn. This is short strike according to ancient Chinese martial art records. This is the common denominator of all short strike art. Okay? Now, so you know how the uh, shoulder play in, okay? You don't push hand this way, when your shoulder this far. You don't go punch this way, when your shoulder this far. Because in the short strike, you want to get in. Once you get in, you want to eat his space alive. You want to eat his center axis of gravity. Take it away. If you can lean on him, press on him, throw him, and so forth, take down. That's what is the, uh, the, the name of the game. Okay. Now, as for the force flow, remember the force component? When you are leaning here, that is where you use it because there will be action reaction force you're going to lean, he's going to lean back, he's going to struggle and you use that okay and you want to use it with the first leg, front leg why? because this leg is a, a trick it can be a kick this is always a reserve this is so close, leaning close here pressing close here this is always a trick or kick or throw, okay? That is what it is. So, so if you want to play with a wooden dummy, suppose to get this close, you cannot be here. If you do here, your shoulder didn't go in, it is not short strike. I don't invent this. This is the mechanics of short strike of ancient Chinese. Since General Chi Chi Gong Pai to 1930s, if you read all the books, that's what it, it is about. Okay? So, so if, if one is playing this long fisting, when one gets into here, one has never trained in the lean, press, and twist, and all those techniques, well, you cannot fight here. You cannot deal with the momentum of take down and so forth. So it become what? It become a struggle. Well, the guy who train in lean and so forth here is all kind of strike. Not only the arm strike, the bottom is a striking all the way long. Remember, I'm talking to you that I share with you that the the, 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 the forward leg you have the weight there, and this is for kick and so forth. All kinds of stuff. It is practically sticking upper and lower body to the opponent that is the uniqueness of the short strike okay so it's not moving it's not moving like this okay it is going like that okay so again 
those type of stuff is long fish. You can call it Nagia stuff and so forth, but that's long fish. Short strike is good here. Okay? That is short strike. Now, after you know this, one other issue you need to solve in the shooting, uh, in the wing chun. That's your shooting tau sets. That means when you practice the shooting tau sets, one need to be able to train the body so that be able to handle that uh, momentum and the force flow in the natural resonance states. So for example, if I want to do this whatever you call it, uh, folk style or whatever, a gong style. You see my body is swaying. That is actually putting the entire six core element within the natural resonance states. And I don't have to uh, 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 contract my lower abs or expand my lower abs, whole bunch of stuff like the uh, internal, uh, intentional regulating. Once you can get into this uh, natural, natural resonance state, you just do it. So this state is what is also called the quiet within dynamic. Dong zhong zhi qi, enter the resonance states. And you want to practice it that way, so that when you are here, the handling of the body, the six core element is effortless. It has to be into that direction. Because nobody has time to to think, oh, I want to do this, I want to use this mind and those kind of stuff. No, you just go inside there and then you just follow the momentum, make use of the, 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 the recycling of the momentum. That's what it is. Okay. So this is to share with you today. I hope that this is clearly show you what happened with the short strike act. And that is also the reason why I say that the movies on Wing Chun, even they call it short strike, uh, Wing Chun, sticking body Wing Chun, but they never do that. Check all the movies, did they do this? And what I'm doing here is in my books, or uh, in the, the, the Wing Chun Matrix books, or you can read it in the Shaolin short strike book, it's there. That's simple, okay? So that's not my interpretation. People write it clearly, how is that thing works. It is like the, your, your, your smartphone in the Silicon Valley. People write down the operating manual, okay? So it's not about interpretation, opinion. We just follow the operating manual to see what it is.